Hello everybody. So I'm here today with a fairly large book haul, actually, of books that I've gotten in the past week and a half or so. So instead of your usual Friday Reads video, I'm giving you a haul entirely of books that I plan on reading sometime, hopefully, before the end of the year. Which means any of these would actually be a pretty good pick for your Friday Reads of the weekend. So to start, I actually picked up these four books whenever I was at my local bookstore. Ooh. Bet Me by Jennifer Cruz I picked up because of a book riot list, actually. If I can find it, I'll put the link in the description. It was actually a list of romance novels that were feminist romance novels, which I find incredibly fascinating. So I picked up a lot of the books on that list actually sometime in the past couple of months, but this is the most recent one and I'm excited to get into it. I also rebought Attachments by Rainbow Rowell because I love it and it's set in a newsroom and I work in a newsroom and my copy mysteriously disappeared. And if you've been following me on Twitter then you know I've already reread this since I bought it this weekend. I also picked up this book, Little Beach Street Bakery by Jenny Colgan because it compared it to Chocolat, which I love, and also because it has recipes it seems pretty cute and the cover is also very pretty. And in general, it's about a girl who kind of learns to love life by learning how to love baking, which is something she's already passionate about, while living in Cornwall. Who doesn't want to escape to Cornwall and bake bread? I also picked up House of Leaves by a guy whose name I cannot pronounce. I've read this, I think I read it all the way through before. I'm pretty sure I made it halfway through an undergrad and then realized that I had finals and I had to read Bleak House. For a page designer, it's kind of, you know, a dream. All sorts of different kinds of text and layouts and... I just really like it a lot and he's got a new book out so I figured I needed to reread this one before I got into his new one. Okay so the next set of books I actually got online from a list that I've been trying to kind of keep pared down of books that I wanted to get for the end of the year. These are the ones that I all got from the Half Price Books Marketplace so all of them I got completely bargained. They were all five dollars or under because that's the way that I roll. I picked up French Milk by Lucy Nisley. Nicely. I'm really bad at this whole pronouncing names bit. It's a graphic memoir, which I am kind of really getting into, mostly because Reed Susie Reed is a really big fanatic of them and it somehow has gotten me into them. I'm really interested to read her travel logs, but I figured this was a good start since I hear good things about it. I also picked up Fun Home by Alison Bechtel. It's another graphic memoir, so very similar to the last one, although their styles of drawing are completely different, of course. I love how you can tell so much about the way that they draw and not just what they're saying. It's kind of magical. I've heard very, very, very good things about this, so I'm really looking forward to getting into it. I also picked up I Feel Bad About My Neck by Nora Ephron, also because it's recommended by Susie of Read Susie Read. I just love Nora Ephron as a screenwriter and director slash producer, so I'm looking forward to getting into some of her essays. And this one in particular is about what it feels like to be a woman kind of reviews on that and I'm really looking forward to it. This is called Heads in Beds. It's by Jacob Tomsky and it's kind of about the hospitality industry which I worked in for a couple of years so I'm really intrigued to see how this is gonna go. We always kind of joked that we had a lot of fodder for books whenever I was working at the inn and so I'm imagining that this has got to be some of that. People are weird guys, that's all I'm gonna say. I also picked up White Teeth by Zadie Smith because I've always meant to pick up White Teeth by Zadie Smith. I had a friend in grad school who really, really, really liked Zadie Smith, but Zadie Smith is kind of closely connected to David Foster Wallace, and no, I don't know how, and I've never wanted to know how because I'm not a very big David Foster Wallace fan, as some of you might remember. But it is one of her more crit critically acclaimed books, and I'm looking forward to getting into it and seeing what all the fuss is about. I also picked up The Miniaturist by Jesse Barton because every time I pass this book in a bookstore, I think, mmm, I really have to get that. So whenever I found it on Half Price Books for under $3, I knew it was coming home to me. It's about an eight-year-old girl who kind of ends up in a house that has a miniature house in it or something. I don't know. I, I've read the plot to this like 50 billion times and even off the top of my head, I could not tell it to you without cheating. So, but look how pretty it is. Last but not least, I picked up A Northern Light by Jennifer Donnelly because I've never read anything by Jennifer Donnelly. This won a Prince Award. It's historical fiction, which I happen to really enjoy. And there's a little bit of murder, intrigue, that kind of thing happening in here. And it's kind of, sort of, inspired by a true story, which I also am a sucker for. 
So if you've read it, don't spoil it for me, but I'm looking forward to reading it myself. If you've read any of those books, please feel free to let me know in the comments and we can commiserate down there as I get to reading. If there's any of them in particular you want to see a review for when I finish, please let me know. And other than that, I will see you guys next week.